I have done many tutorial videos on Presonus Studio One DAW, specifically the Prime Edition, which is the free limited edition. Matter of fact, over 60 videos, and I have answered many questions there as well. But there's one question that keeps popping up, even though I have answered in many times. What are the limitations of the Prime Edition? So I'm going to quickly try to answer that question one more time and lay it out for you so you can understand what the limitations are. Plus, I'm going to also answer a comment that I get from people that say, um, don't bother with the Prime Edition. It's uh, useless. There's so many limitations. Um, you can't actually use it for any real production. So I'm going to give you my counter comment to let you know why Prime is probably the best DAW to start with, especially if you're just starting in recording music. So I hope you stick around for that uh, reply comment. So let's talk about what the limitations of the Prime Edition is for Personas Studio One. The first and the most asked question, does it support VST? No. It does not support any VST, though it has built-in uh, Presence XD, which is uh, a VST instrument, and it does come with plugins uh, and variations of that you can actually use, but it does not support any third-party plugins. So you cannot add any more VST instruments or your favorite compressor or favorite EQ or anything else. What you get is what's in there. Now for some, they might go, well, uh, that's no use to me because I can't use my, you know, my favorite compressor, my, I don't know, whatever brand name compressor from brand name company. What's the use then? Well, in that case, if you already know that much about your favorite compressor, then you are looking in the wrong place. There's no point of you commenting about you know, not VST, no VST support. Obviously, you're way beyond that. Prime Edition is for beginners to get to understand and know about the AWS. So, move on. Now, the second limitation, which may not be a major problem, but it could be, depending on your use. But Prime being a starter edition for people just starting into recording music, this may not be a, a, a real issue. The other limitation is you can only record and play back two channels at a time, one and two, left and right, however you like to call it. That's it. So if you have an audio interface that supports more than two simultaneous input, like multi-tracking, let's say like uh, uh, 1824 or any of the focus right range or any of the other interfaces that you've got that have multiple inputs, maybe eight inputs, four inputs, um, whatever, you cannot record any more than two channels at a time. So if you are recording vocals, guitars, uh, bass, keyboards separately, all you need is one input or two inputs for stereo and you can stack the layers, the tracks, and then you can achieve multi-track recording. But if you want to record a whole band in one go, and you want to mic a drum kit with, you know, four, five, eight, you know, 10 microphones, with Prime Edition, you can't do that. So that's the second limitation. It all depends. As I mentioned, Prime is for starters, people who are just starting to learn about the AWs. And most of the time, they were going to have the interface, which is small, two input, two output, maybe one of the Behringer chip audio interfaces that will do perfectly for it. At the same time, it also has two outputs, the main left and right. So there are no sub outputs. Um, and if you don't know about sub outputs, then you're in the right place because you don't need to learn about it until later on, once you are confident of using a DAW. Now, the third limitation, I might actually call it limitations because there are a little bit of software limitations that include. Even though we have no limitation of number of tracks we could actually have, whether it's audio or MIDI, 
One of the limitations is not having buses. There are no buses in the Prime Edition. You can get it in the Artist and the Professional version, but in Prime, there are no buses. But I have made a video describing how you can use ways, workarounds, to achieve buses. And I have, as I mentioned, over 60 videos on the Prime Edition itself. So just browse my channel and find those. I might put links in the description so you can learn how to work around those limitations. The next one is limited number of plugins. Even though you still get compressor and EQ, chorus, flanger, um, and all those things, they are limited. You only get the channel strip, which is still limited. Again, for starting point, that is enough to get your music going. And the same goes with a VST instrument. You get Presence XT, which has a whole heap of library of sounds from drums, bass, strings, piano, you know, um, some guitar sounds and roads and a whole heap of different instruments that you can use multiple instances of the same VST instrument where one will be playing drums, another one will be playing bass and so on. So you, if you're not playing those instruments, live instruments, you can use those instrument sounds and through MIDI recording to achieve very similar results. Now, once you have reached a stage where those limitations are becoming um, restrictions for you, then I would highly recommend to go to the next step before purchasing the artist version, which I would normally say just bypass it, and go to the pro version, is to actually get the pro plugin bundle for Prime Edition, which will give you the professional EQ, compressor, limiter, expander and gate, and few other plugins which will make and take your recording and music production to the next level. And then you get to learn those plugins before you expand your knowledge into third party plugins and uh, the rest of the world of music production. For additional VST instruments, if you're into synthesizers, then you can actually get the, the, uh, the add-on bundle, which is the Mai Tai, which is polyphonic synthesizer, and you can use that to create your sound. And of course, if you're a guitar player and you want a guitar amp sim, Empire, you've got the Empire XT extensions, which would give you pedals um, that you can actually use in your recording. So you can move on one step at a time. And those add-on plugins, they're not really that expensive. They're you know affordable enough once you get to understand how the DAW works and to the next level. And once you become comfortable with all of those plugins that you've got, then you can move on to the Pro Edition. Presonus Studio One Prime Edition is for beginners, for people who are just starting understanding and learning about the AWs and how to record their music and produce music, you know, good enough for them to actually learn on. If you already know about the AWs, then Prime is not really for you. So don't bat mount it because you think it's got so many limitations, it's not worth your time. Let me put this into um, context. If you are going to preschool, kindergarten, what sort of books do you have? Do you get, you know, lectures in a classroom? Do you read about geography and do you read about uh, history, mathematics? What books do you have? Think about it. You are just starting to learn the language that you speak. It doesn't have to be English or any whatever language you're learning. You start with the basics, with the ABC, the alphabet, and you learn those. And those books have limitations. They're only limited number of words in them, and they've got pictures to explain what the words mean. And as you progress your level year after year and you learn those alphabet and those basic words, you move on to bigger books that have more words. And once you grab the concept, grammar, 
and um, the structure of the language, then you are free to go and write your own song. Because that's what we're trying to do here is create music. And, uh, and usually music has words in them as well as vocals. So I hope that explains. Prime is for the kindergarten. Uh, and which will make you learn about DAW the easy way. And then you can move on to the professional editions once you know how to use it. Let me compare this and let me put a slide, show a picture, screenshot of Prime and then Cakewalk by BandLab, which is a full production professional DAW, which is free, which will allow you to do everything and everything. It, it includes unlimited tracks, MIDI or audio. It has multiple simultaneous recording and playback, depending on the support of your audio interface. You can have buses, multiple buses, patches, um, groups, uh, subgroups, um, effects channels, um, and and whole heap more. Then each channel has the pro uh, the uh, pro channel, which has you know compressors and EQs and the tube saturation tape plugins and any unlimited number of VST plugins that you want to add in there. Now consider yourself starting to understand music recording DAW and you are confronted with Cakewalk by BandLab or any similar DAW, you're going to go, what the fuck? Where do I start? And that's my point. Due to the limitations of Prime Edition, you can't go wrong. You cannot do anything wrong. You get to learn how to use a DAW. And even if you're not moving from the Prime Edition into the Pro Edition of Studio One, um, you can move to Cakewalk because once you understand the basics and the concept of how DAWs work and the core of any DAW is pretty much the same, you've got tracks, channels, plugins, uh, buses, effects and master outputs and so on, then you can move from any DAW to the next and you can decide maybe Studio One is not doesn't fit your workflow and you can go to Cakewalk or you can go to Cubase or Reaper or any other DAW and learn about it. So to conclude, don't think that limitations in the Prime Edition will actually stop you from making music. On the contrary, it will make you focus and understand and create music rather than worry about how this plugin work, how's that plugin work, how do I do this, how do I do that, do I, do I create buses, how do I create this and so on where once you understand this is your limitations, I can create tracks, I can record audio, I can record MIDI, and I can have instruments, and these are my limited uh, plugins, and these are limited uh, instruments and sounds that I have, and this is how I can mix it down, this is how I can listen and play it back. Then you focus on the creation of the music rather than wasting time trying to understand how to add plugins that crash the system that how you are going to mix it down, how to master your uh, tracks uh, or how to put all those sort of things. So they're all out of the questions. You can't do those. So you concentrate on making music. So if you are starting, my personal opinion and my advice would be Studio One Prime Edition is the best tool you can start with. And I repeat again, I have no association, I have no contact with uh, personas, and this is my pure personal opinion of years of experience that I had multiple DAWs that I own. I own over 10 DAWs and I know majority of them how they work, but my main DAW is Studio One Pro and I know everything about it. That's my main DAW. but. I'm happy to say from experience, the best way to learn is not but how much you can do, but how little you can do and learn and concentrate. So I hope this helps you out. If it does, make sure you give me the thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to my channel as well if you like, and you can follow me on very many videos that I have on my channel. Till next time, as always, thanks for watching and have a great time making music. Cheerio, guys.